YouTube, welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael and this is my dog Esme. She's just down there. So I didn't think I was going to come out camping this weekend. It's Sunday about four o'clock in the afternoon so it's really late for me to actually get out here and I've got to be back for work on Monday so it's going to be a bit rushed but I just want to get out and actually do a little bit of hunting. Um, I brought the shotgun with me. Um, I'm going to be hammock camping again. This time I've got my Canadian Army sleeping bag with a US uh, Gore-Tex bivy bag. I've got the Hennessy hammock and uh, this jacket. But first thing I'm going to do is drop this stuff off and we're going to take a walk in the woods and see if we can grab some grouse for supper. It might be a bit more tasty than cup of soup and rice in my last video. So here's hoping. So if you'd like to join us, then you're welcome to come along. Okay, we're back from the walk. We did get a, a grouse. This is a, uh, it's a male grouse. It looks like a spruce grouse. Uh, it's a beautiful animal. Um, I'm very thankful that I managed to get this and I'm not eating cup of soup and rice tonight. But at the same time, uh, hunting for me, I've mentioned in the comments, is bittersweet. Uh, I hate the thought of uh, killing animals, but I also enjoy meat. I don't eat any commercial meat at all. So most of the time I'm actually vegetarian and I only meat. Uh, eat meat that I've actually uh, hunted myself. So I'm very thankful for nature to provide this uh, food for me and it doesn't go without uh, thought that this is a very precious gift. So I'll certainly make the most of this. So let's get on and set up the camp. The Hennessy Hammock. This is the Expedition ASIM model. I have modified it slightly. It took off the long ropes uh, that you tied onto the uh, onto the lashings with, um, and I just have these short pieces now uh, that I can just hook onto the straps. So 
That's the only difference. I do have the snake skins as well, but it's a very good hammock if you don't know what the weather's going to be or where you're going to be. I wasn't sure I was going to be back here again, so um, I brought this along and something different too. So I'll go ahead and put that on. So the hammock's set up. I'm not going to put the bedding in yet, the Canadian sleeping bag. I'm going to let Esme lie on that. We can actually sit by the fire and, and uh, do the cooking. So it's something comfortable. So this is a Hennessy ASIM. So it means it's asymmetric. It's kind of a diagonal lie. So you can see the, uh, the pullout on this side. And this one's closer to us. And so my feet will go to the top right as I'm lying in there. And my head will go to the top left. Uh, I don't have this fly pulled out fully. What I've done is put a few stakes in the ground. And a uh, damn tree fell over. There we go. But it's very quick and easy, especially with the snake skins. And this one just has a Velcro entry. And just have my mat in there. And you just have this uh, ridge line right here. Uh, there is quite a bit of room once you get in. Uh, it's actually quite fun. Uh, so I'm not keen on the tarp over the top all the time because it does close you in somewhat. Um, but that's all good. So I don't use it often enough, this hammock. Uh, it actually looks a little bit... And yeah, that's fine. I prefer to have my feet slightly higher because then it stops you sliding down the hammock. It kind of pushes you towards your head, which is uh, a little bit better. I'm not expecting any rain tonight, so I think we should be pretty good to go. What do you think? Esme, you ready for a hammock sleep? Do you like hammocks? Did you help me get the bird today? Good girl. You start a fire on your face. So I want to talk a little bit about how I start fires. So I tend to do it in the same way and it's a little bit different from most people. Um, <clears throat> I always tend to make a do it this way, easy to see, a little V in the middle. And uh, what I'll do is the materials available. This is old man's beard and uh, with the sticks attached as well. I use that as my tinder uh, and just put that in there. And what I do is I'll 
place sticks across the two and then place more logs there we go on either side so what it does it creates kind of a, a pyre effect There's lots of uh, oxygen to it and then once these twigs actually burn through which won't take long they'll actually fall into the middle and produce coals in the center and at the same time it will give these a chance to actually catch what I'll do is probably split this one down because it's kind of thick uh, just with my knife uh, but I find that works in any weather uh, it's a really great way of making the fire like I say, normally I'd have something underneath this because uh, the ground is a little bit damp but I think we should be okay so I'm just going to go ahead and split this I also have some birch bark with me as well which is very handy Not there. Should do nicely. Uh, so this is the Enzo Trapper with the custom scales. Uh, I don't normally split with my knife, but I really can't be bothered to get up and get my axe. So I'm just going to make some curls. So there we go. What I'll do is just put those just on top as well. And my bigger twigs. smaller pieces that one's still a little bit too big I'm just going to tear up some of this birch bark what I'll do is actually put a piece just inside and I'll use this piece to light A little bit windy today.
once that burns down, the reason I do it this way is because those two logs, the main logs there, I can put the grill straight across with the coals in between. So I don't really have to fuss with it too much to actually get a pot on there to actually cook. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare the spruce grouse for, for eating. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually just um, pluck out the breast, uh, take the two breasts and I'll take the, uh, the legs as well. And then Esme will get the, um, the heart and the liver as well, that's how I normally do it. So I did shoot part of the uh, breast by the looks of it. It's unfortunate. The meat is much darker as well with a spruce grouse. So that's uh, one breast out. Ooh, didn't cut that very well. This one will need a bit of a wash. It's all good. So I do have some Montreal chicken spice which will uh, go nice with these breasts so uh, I have brought that long For the smaller pieces, they'll be for Esme. And uh, I'll have the two larger ones.
Actually, I'm not sure why I'm cooking Esme's. That doesn't make any sense. I think she prefers them raw. Also brought some uh, olive oil. herb jar. Last time I was out I carved this uh, little spoon because uh, I was having trouble getting to the bottom of my herb jar. That looks works pretty well now. Oh, you ate them already. Couldn't have been that hot. That is very good. <sighs> Gotta admit, that is very good. Obviously it tastes like chicken, but it's a slightly stronger taste. And with the herbs as well, it tastes a little bit garlicky, a little bit spicy. Um, but as you can see, it's just perfectly cooked as well. That was very enjoyable. It was a lot of work to actually get that grouse, but it's uh, certainly worth it, and I appreciate the the bird uh, absolutely. So I think I'm going to leave in um, all the video that I've shot today. I was in two minds whether to bring out different things, but uh, if I think about cooking shows, they often show people 
cutting up a chicken. So I, I don't know if it should get flagged or not. Uh, I hope not. Um, I didn't show the uh, the actual hunt or the, the bird itself, so just the preparation. So hopefully that should be okay. So I'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, we'll put some more wood on the fire. Be back shortly. So it's about eight o'clock and it's pretty dark right now. I always start to feel tired as soon as the sun goes down. I'm sure that's quite natural. We still have the Canadian Army sleeping bag in front of the fire and I'm actually tempted to just sleep here in the Gore-Tex bivy bag. Um, but I'm always afraid, if I'm honest, the reason I don't do like tarps and open shelters, which I've done many times in my life, uh, is because of Esme. I'm, I'm afraid that something would come along that would attract her and she would run off and there's no way to kind of stop her from asleep. I could tie her up, but if something did happen, I think she'd just be as vulnerable. So I've always had some sort of shelter like a hammock or a tent where she can't really get out and nothing get her to kind of come out because that's one of the tactics that uh, like coyotes etc will, will try and goad a adult to come and uh, that's not good. So uh, not sure what to do. We could just sleep in front of the fire which would be quite easy and nice or we'll climb in the hammock which is probably equally as nice but means that she's going to be kind of cramped up with me. So that's the reason why. The alternative is to leave Esme at home and I could do tarp camping, you know, bivvies, all that sort of stuff. But for that to happen, I'd have to leave my best friend at home and that's not really going to happen. Part of the reason I come out here is so we can spend time together. So we'll have to find a way that works. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I think there is something simple that we could put together where she would be safe and uh, we could just like throw something out and get in. Um, maybe a like big bivy, I don't know. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. How do you camp with your dog? Are you afraid that they'll kind of run off in the night and never be seen again? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to see. Anywho, I'm going to finish up my podcast, climb into the hammock and uh, I'll say goodnight from there. So slight change of plan. The hammock didn't work out very well. Um, we weren't very comfortable. Esme was very uncomfortable. So we decided to bring everything outside and uh, we're gonna sleep on the ground. Um, we got the mat and the Canadian army sleeping bag. We're good down to like minus 40, so we're all good. The fire's just over there somewhere. And uh, as long as Esme doesn't run off, I think we're good. We'll just try it on the ground, so we'll see. Okay, see you in the morning. Take care. Oh, good morning. We ended up just sleeping in front of the fire after all. Esme just didn't like that hammock. Uh, she couldn't get comfortable, so I just took the sleeping bag outside. Had the uh, Unigear mat. And it, it was a pretty pleasant night. It wasn't too cold last night. Um, so we kept quite warm. Uh, Esme didn't run away. Uh, she just slept right next to me on her blanket and she had a down comforter. So it worked out pretty good. Um, no complaints really. Tried to keep the fire going so I woke up in the middle of the night, put some more wood on the fire. So uh, not, a, not a bad night. But I'm ready for my coffee so I think that's my next job right now.
tiny spoon. Ah, oh, coffee. So we're all about packed up now, time to uh, hit the road, back to reality again. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.